Hi, boys and girls. This is um, lesson eight homework, and it is a continuation of lesson seven, where we're using the area model and multiplication to show the equivalence of two fractions. It's important, as we've said since the first day of school, that you know your multiplication facts. It makes everything easier for you, so you don't have to think about that. You just have to think about the process and the skills that you're learning that apply your multiplication facts. So let's get started. They did give you a sample, and it says that each rectangle represents one. The shaded fractions have been decomposed into smaller units and to express the equivalent fractions in a number sentence using multiplication. So this is very similar to yesterday. So we have one, two, three, two thirds, and it's decomposed into six smaller units, two sections. So it's two times two, three times two. Two times two is four, three times two is six. So now we have three-fourths decomposed into two sections. So three times two is six, four times two is eight. And you need to have the original fraction, how it was decomposed, and the equivalent fraction. This was decomposed into three sections, and it's one, two, three, four, four-fifths. So four-fifths, and it's decomposed into three sections. So four times three, five times three. Four times three is 12, five times three is 15, 12 fifteenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of eight, so seven-eighths. It's decomposed into two sections, so seven times two, eight times two. Seven times two is 14, eight times two is 16. Now they want you to decompose these fractions into twelfths and express it in a number sentence. Now this is one, two, three, four, five, sixths, three sixths. And I know that six times two is 12, so I know I need to divide it, decompose it into two sections. So three times two is six, six times two is 12. This is one, two, four, two fourths. Well, I need to turn it into twelfths or decompose it into twelfths. And I know that four times three is twelve, so I need to de decompose this into three sections. So two times three is six, four times three is twelve. They want you to draw area models to prove this. So one third equals two six. So first you have to make one third and decompose it into sixths. And I know three times two is six, so I know I need to de decompose it into two sections. Two fifths, one, two, out of one, two, three, four, five. I know that five times two is 10, so I need to decompose it into two sections. Five sevenths, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, into 10 fourteenths. Seven times two is 14, so I know I need to decompose it into two sections. Three sixths into nine eighteenths. Three six, one, two, three, four, five, six into eighteenths. Well, I know three times three is nine, so I need to decompose it into three sections. Now, we, you get to decide how you want to decompose um, using multiplication to create an equivalent fraction. So you can multiply by anything. This, this is what I choose. Two-thirds, I decomposed it into three sections, so two times three is six, three times three is nine, so two-thirds equals six-ninths. For five-sixths, I decomposed it into two sections or into twelfths, so five times two is ten, six times two is twelve. For six-fifths, I decomposed it into four sections or into twentieths, six times four is twenty-four, five times four is twenty. For ten-eighths, I decomposed it into three sections or into twenty-fourths, 10 times 3 is 30, 8 times 3 is 24. So 10 eighths equals 30 24 ths. Now they're giving you a so called equivalency, but we have to prove if this was true or false. So 2 thirds equals 4 ninths. Well, 2 thirds, I know that 3 times 3 is 9. So if I want to make ninths, I have to multiply by 3. So 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9. So 2 thirds actually equals 6 ninths. So this is false. Five, six, ten, twelfths. Well, five, I know to make twelfths, I would multiply by two. Six times two is twelve. Five times two is ten. Ah, five, six does equal ten twelfths. So that is true. Three fifths, six fifteenths. So three fifths, I know to make um, six. Three times two is six. Mm, five times two is ten. 
So three-fifths equals six-tenths. Oh, if I multiply by three, which can I change this? Oh, I'm not going to be able to change the fraction, though. Um, it would be, it's not going to allow me to change the fraction. If I made this 15th, it would, it would be 15th. So it would be 5 times 3 is 15. 3 times 3 is 9. So it would be 9 fifteenths. So that is false. 7 fourths, 21 twelfths. Well, to make twelfths, I know I need to do 4 times 3. So 4 times 3 is 12, but 7 times 3 is 21. Oh, actually, that's true. Silly me, right? So... 7 times 3 is 21, 4 times 3 is 12, 7 fourths does equal 21 twelfths. Oh, silly me. So <laughs> that is our homework. Have a lovely evening, and I'll see you in school tomorrow. Bye-bye.